it's three companies. It's Net Gaming, uh, Endorphina, and B Gaming. Mm. So those three companies have used AI to make the graphics uh, within a slot of theirs. I choose three games from each supplier. Yeah. One of them is an AI made slot. The mm -hmm. two others are not. Okay. So it's our little version of, is it cake? Right. This is a bowling ball. And this is a cake. What? So if you fail, that means oh. judgment day is coming. Then AI oh, wins. Then I will become the... their first victim of like farming electricity or whatever they're going to do with me. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to climb into some sort of slimy pot mm -hmm. and stay there for the rest of your life. Okay, should we just have a brief like uh, definition of what it means to make an AI game and like how they're made and, and yeah, so all three of them, what they yeah. say is um, at least from the information that I found is that ninety percent of the visuals shown within mm -hmm. the design is the outcome from prompts that they asked uh, a mid journey, I'm guessing, or something like that, and then ten percent is is manual adjustments of it. Okay. I'm not getting full on AI vibes on this one yet. I don't think it's the prettiest game, um, I gotta say. But then again, I, you know, I know that's kind of what they're going for as well. Um, it looks like a normal slot, I think, in this uh, sort of style of, of making slots. But I could be making a fool out of myself now. But I think also the fact that they're like you know they're they're focusing on certain things and certain things they aren't focusing i think an ai would be less prone to sort of make some things worse it would sort of try to make it as good as possible i think at all times but i feel like here they've kind of put a little bit of time into that um, especially that scatter and it's not like the kind of beauty that i think an ai would consider beautiful like making something just completely straight up super jarring blue um well that could be like where the sort of last 10 percent comes in um, but we know why it's super jarring, sort of simple blue on the lightning uh, of the scatter, because it stands out really well. But I'm not sure an AI would, would consider that uh, prettier. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Am I going to be fooled by this AI? These look very AI to me. Uh, those background things. The ones, the bisons that moved across the screen? Yeah. No, I, no, I was just going to say that... Not the ones on the background, but like the ones that were standing still and like charging at us. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. But, but not like charging across the screen, but they were just like sort of looking at us. The... Third one. I thought it would be easier. I'm, I'm a little bit like, I think this one is quite sus, but um, the turtle has this sort of thing that makes me feel like it's not AI. Like that whole weird sort of smile thing he's got going on there. It's, it really doesn't look, it looks more artistic than um, AI would do. But then maybe that's yeah. the 10% that came in. I think here, like, I'm getting a more even sort of level of detail on the different symbols, which I also think is a little bit sus, kind of. Um, I'm getting, like, way too much sort of detail in certain things, like the the seahorses. That could just yeah. be, like, art direction. Um, it could also be AI. So we have Zeus, we have Bison, and we have Mermaid. Which one is cake? <sighs> Actually, I, I didn't think you would struggle on this one, to be honest, because no. then the, the, next, the next ones are going to be even more difficult for you. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, I'll go with the Bison being cake then. Okay. It was cake, Carl! Yay! <laughs> For instance, mm -hmm. we use prompts like Cherokee women, woman with war bonnet, isolated front face oil painting, 
and adjusted similar prompts for other symbols until we reached a consistent output. But here they say Wild Buffalo Bonanza is the first AI generated slot. So I think what you were talking about where you asked them what type of slot should we make chat GPT kind of approach, then I would say that net gaming went more down this route and maybe the AI generated graphics were just secondary here. First player, you've made it. So it's one nil for Carl against the AI. Mm, I think I might know this one though. Sorry. Ah, you know this one? No, I know Joker Raw is uh, AI made. I think this was the first that I heard of that was like AI made. But I think mm. this would have been very, quite easy to tell as well. Because you can see it's like, it's quite beautiful, but it's weird. And it's also like exactly the kind of thing they would say if you like, like ChatGPT, like, hey, we're going to make a slot game. Uh, what should our theme be? You know, and it's like, oh, Egyptian themes always work really well. So we need a wild. What should be the wild? A joker should always be the wild. I don't know. Somehow that becomes like a joker, scary, Tutankhamen, wrong. Because I think that looks a little bit like a joker, right? It's got like the smile of a joker, That's but true. it's kind of Tutankhamen. Yeah. It's really no. disturbing. So here yeah. it's all quite, what I would say, intricate. Like they're all kind of uh, detailed, bunch of realistic stuff. And that's kind of what Mid Journey tends to do is just kind of adds a lot of detail and stuff because that's what people have considered to be really beautiful when they started working with these things. A normal artist would not like add a crap ton of detail just for the sake of adding a crap ton of detail. Whereas Mid Journey mm -hmm. will happily do that. Uh, but an artist would typically look at like, okay, how do I you know, achieve this task really effectively. And then if it's like um, an eye like that, they might make like a sort of simpler, but equally punchy eye and not all the stuff around like that little sort of diamond above the eye you see that also has an eye in it. That is, I think, a typical AI thing to do. Like this small little thing is worth almost nothing from like an artistic perspective, but it would still take a little bit of work. And it's also got this sort of rep repetitive thing which is also quite typical for, for AI that they sort of make the same thing over and over in like smaller iterations and sort of repeat. I think with me, it comes across as being extremely clean. So mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like on a, on a very high end TV, watch a movie, but then not have movie mode on. So you see mm -hmm. too much detail. You see too much of what is really happening. You need kind of a filter over it to make it a little bit more real again, yeah. which is what AI doesn't do. Yeah, and I, but I think that's also like a, a product of people thinking that looks prettier because like what they do is they add loads of like uh, lighting and stuff like that, which is maybe why mm -hmm. it's so clean. It's like everything is sort of, you can see that, you know, surface reflecting light off of and stuff like that. An artist might do for like a thing that is really valuable or whatever, or just needs to be really realistic and you really want to spend a lot of time that you might sit and do that kind of stuff. But typically like you find a a more efficient way. I mean, if they have used AI on this one, they have, they're using another tool than mid journey for sure. I don't know. I feel like this must, this, I don't imagine is AI. Okay. okay. Here I'm getting more of an AI vibe for sure. Wild Chicago. Sus. Uh -huh. Definitely sus. Not impossible that a human made it though. Well, that's the thing, right? Yeah. It's it's never impossible for a human to make it. It's just how how good are you at spotting the AI? Yeah, exactly. Or wins times three. So it's an extremely simple game. Yeah. It's like a net end game from 2007. Yeah. Blood suckers without the base game feature. Which also like is a bit of a clue, like you might make a simple game if you were going to venture into making an AI game and it makes sense you, you know, went with simple mechanics. Of course, it depends as well on like, are you trying to make the mechanics also based on AI or like the AI decides mechanics or is it just... I don't really get a lot of tramp vibes. It's more like a hipster, hipster day rather than tramp day. Yeah, well, it's kind of the same thing these days, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Like in the, in San Francisco, it's like a sort of slippy, slidey slope. Yeah. We have alien fruits. 
Yep. Wild Chicago. Tramp Day. Which one is cake, Carl? My guess is that uh, Chicago is cake because I think the first one, there's too many intricate parts sort of working together here that need to harmonize and they harmonize very sort of perfectly. So you have like the same yellow on the K and it's the same yellow as that fruit. The queen and the other blue is the same blue exactly. And they all move their eyes. It should be quite annoying to, to do, I think, in an AI because typically you would have the artist sort of cut different parts um, that you need to animate. And uh, yeah. yeah, I can't really do that. Although an artist could work on it a little bit, of course. So you're saying the wild Chicago? Yeah, that's my guess. The funny thing here, Carl, this is AI. Oh, this one, Alien Fruit. Yeah. Wow. I was also, oh, I, I could not see it. Like uh, the press release goes about uh, Alien Fruits launched, uh, first AI slot, this and that. Yeah. And then I played the game and I was like, really? How did they do that? Because that's really very interesting. So obviously oh. you never really know just how far they took the AI and which parts are AI. Uh, but I thought this was really hard to see. The background looks a bit like mid-journey. I can see it there for sure. But that's about it, honestly. So the funny thing is when I... So I knew that this was the AI game. And then mm. I had to find two more games uh, to mm. go alongside it. And then I saw this game on their website and I was like, oh, wow. I mean, that this just yeah, screams this... AI. Yeah, so I'm, exactly. I'm going to take this in the mix to just confuse you and make yeah, you trip yeah. up. But then the irony of it all, afterwards I found like a news article where they were talking that Wild Chicago was their second title where they used AI. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so there were two games with AI. Yeah, I was so like... I still, I still count it as a victory for you, Carl. So what they said is that... Um, so in April, they released mm. Alien Fruits and then followed by the Wild Chicago online slot. Uh, yep. They were the first AI-driven endeavors. Mm -hmm. uh, static graphic elements were 90% generated by AI with further manual mm -hmm. touches tweaking the games to perfection. So that was uh, our little session of Is It Cake, Carl? <laughs> well done. It was a nice quiz. Really fun uh, challenge. I guess it's going to be... Yeah, it's fun in games now. <laughs> <laughs> but is it going to be uh, like that forever? Yeah, I wonder just how many studios actually use AI more obviously, because mm. you guys use it as well, right? We use it for ideation sometimes, like not that the AI, AI is giving us ideas, but if I have, for example, an idea for like um, a landscape that I would want to show, I might, instead of Google image searching it and, and kind of, taking an artist's version of the, uh, yeah, say like pyramids in snow. Um, I might ask the AI to like, you know, imagine uh, the great pyramids uh, of Egypt in a snowy uh, winter context, you know, and uh, you know, there's uh, snow covering the, the pyramids and the beautiful night skies visible above and uh, maybe even Santa is like going along. And somewhere there, I think it would mess it up. The Santa yeah. thing would probably not translate. I'd probably get like a nice image of snow-covered pyramids. And I would show that to the team. And I'd say like, imagine what if the background was something like this. That's about as far as it makes sense. Yeah, I, I think it's a very difficult process to actually take this in the state that it is today, the AI yeah. tools, and actually make a finished slot out of it. And I think you can tell as well that it doesn't really... I mean, it, it kind of works, but you never get like proper AAA titles out of it. Like... None of yeah. them that we've seen today have been especially amazing looking. Like from a novelty point of view, it's interesting to see these games, but they don't mm -hmm. stand out against like the best crafted human graphics that we have. So thanks for this. Uh, I'm happy to help. see that Judgment Day is not happening anytime soon, at least. Uh, it's, yeah, not today. <laughs> not today. So we live another day. Yeah.